Oh. Uh, oh. oh, you cannot be freaking serious. What the heck? She just dropped our food, y'all. I'm just lost for words. Why couldn't we just get Brianna serving our food? She over here. Look at. They all pissed. We've been here for five hours. Bitch, I'm annual flossing. VVS. Yeah, play Animal Crossing. GameCube 3DS. I ain't never been poor. Used to play Sims 4. Put a little wall around niggas. Take a golf trip in a swim pool. Attention. This series may contain elements that are not suitable for audiences under the age of 16. Accordingly, viewer discretion is advised. Hey, what's up everybody and welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Sierra or also known as Sierra the Simmer and this is my Sims 4 Let's Play that I like to call Tamara Diaries. If you haven't seen the last nine episodes of this season or season one, then pause this video now and check the top right or the description box to catch up on all the episodes you missed. And don't forget to hit the like button, share it, hit the subscribe button, and that bell so you don't miss another time I post a video. Now let's get straight into this let's play. Okay y'all, so long time no see, we are back with Tamara Diaries. Tamara is up at 12.48 on a Thursday watching some TV. So I don't know what she's watching. If y'all know what that is, let me know in the comments. But if you haven't seen the last episode, Tamara moved into her new crib in Delso Valley. We are in Delso Valley with it, sis. She lived in San Mainshuno for a long time. We lived in two apartments there. She lived with her uncle before those two apartments. And now we're in our own crib in Delso Valley with our dog, Reese Cup. He's no longer a puppy. He's a full grown adult dog now. Tamara's also pregnant. She's like eight months pregnant. She's in her third trimester. And I'm working on decorating her son's room, hopefully today or Friday, which will be tomorrow. And I don't know when I'm going to have this baby shower, but I need to go ahead and get it. P plan a date is already decorated and ready. We just need to figure out a date and invite all the people that we want. But we're going to get straight into this gameplay. So we're going to click play. Tamara's just watching TV. I don't really have a whole lot of pl a whole lot planned. I do know that I feel like Tamara hasn't really um hung out with her friends. She ain't really had like, you know, a girl's night, girl's day, girl's weekend sort of thing. So I'm like, okay, well, maybe she should go out to brunch, hang out with her friends, even though she's like eight, almost about to pop. We can still have fun. So she does have friends. Her best friend, if you haven't. Watch the series. You need to watch season one and the beginning of this season to know who her friends are, who she shakes and moves with, okay? So she does have one friend. Her name is Mackenzie Kramer. She just had a daughter named Demi. She's every bit of almost one now in sim time, y'all know. Uh, she also has a friend from season one, Crystal Wilkerson. Um, and she has some other friends that, you know, she went to high school with. Um, Chanel, um, Cameron, Drew, she met. Uh, recently, Hope and Drew, she met at the same time. Gianni is uh, a girl she went to high school with. Crystal, her best friend from high school. Sienna, she went to high school with. Just a lot of girls she went to high school with. Um, so, yeah. What is in her inventory? Oh, I forgot. She bought a wellness treat for her pet, Reese. It's basically anytime he may get sick or something, it's like a treat to give him, you know. Because I don't know what's going on with the dogs, but they get sick a lot. I be seeing all types of dogs. With the previous households I played with that are just walking around sick, going to the vet. And I'm just like, what the heck is going on? What is in the water? What is she crying about? Okay, we're just up at midnight watching TV. I'm, I, this jumbo bonnet is giving. This uh, jumbo bonnet is by Kiko Vanity. Sis, you're crying for what? Oh, she has to use the bathroom. Okay, so um, Tamara has to use the bathroom. It looks like sis took cut off the tv on her own um i'm just now learning how to navigate her crib i need to do auto lights all lights so we're gonna do auto lights all lights and basically the light will turn on everywhere she's at see i still haven't gotten used to this house because i don't even know where the toilet is but i'm gonna have her use the bathroom let's check her other needs she's starting to get hungry energy is really low you know she's pregnant so she really needs to you know keep her needs up especially um, I realized that this freaking potty is not even functional. So when her son comes and when he finally ages up to toddler or whatever, I'm going to make sure she potty trains him, teaches him how to walk, talk, because I realized a lot of my, you know, 
toddler sims that I age up to child sims. I don't really take the time out to teach them how to walk, talk, do all that, and build up their skills and their, you know, stuff like that. And I'm like, mm, maybe I should do that. Because <laughs> I feel like Janessa never really got that opportunity to learn how to talk, walk. She did over time, but, like, her mom wasn't really there there. So, um, now that Janessa is a child, um, that is over and done with. She used the bathroom. I'm going to have her probably just get some water and go down and make some food i mean it's 2 50 in the morning and she's always up like she was oh sis had to stretch all the way back i was confused at first but um she's drinking water looks like she's in a better mood she's feeling inspired i love her freaking living room like this was a pre-decorated house like basically it was already put together but i might i added my own touches goodness oh there's some pizza laid out we about to grab some of this um meat lovers pizza at 3 a.m on a thursday yes um usually she craves a lot of stuff so she'll crave like sweets greasy food but yep we're gonna go downstairs and get some sausage beef and bacon pizza whatever it's on that pizza like ham and reese's actually oh he was supposed to be sleeping but i think i'm gonna probably give him a bath and stuff i fixed up his looks i'll show y'all real quick how hot how i made him look because when he aged up he was looking real real different okay didn't expect him to look like that let me just wait till he goes goes up the stairs because timur is going down the stairs to get some pizza i don't know what reese is doing let me pause him because he's running around like a madman he's a lot cuter now look at him he's not as funny looking i'll say that i did a pretty good job giving him a makeover because i'm not that great at making dogs and pets i just always they never just look right to me but he looks way cuter than he did when he aged up last episode but we're gonna go ahead and click play i don't know what he's running around he's running in place what, what's going on reesey good morning <laughs> um oh it might be i was about to say is it water that's oh he has to pee there's a fire um fire hydrant <laughs> i think that's what it's called child above his head but Tamara about to get her some pizza. Sis is like, I'm about to smash on these little two pieces of pizza. Okay. <laughs> that pizza looks so realistic and looks so good. But this is episode number 10. Um, Usually for Tamara Diaries, I only do 10 episodes and I just move on to the next season. But of course, the baby shower. I don't know if we're going to be able to fit that in this episode. Because logically, I don't really have it planned in my mind to have it for this episode. So we might just do like, you know, hanging with the girls, decorating the room, getting to know Keon, seeing where his head is at. You know, focusing on this, that, and the other. Hanging out with family, just doing stuff. And then, I'm going to have her clean this up. And then the baby shower can maybe be the, um, the finale episode. She needs to throw this away. But it says a trash can or sink is required to clean this up. Yet, there's definitely a sink right here. And... A trash can right here and a freaking dishwasher. So what is really the problem? Anybody else having that issue where it'll say like there's no sink or a dishwasher or trash nearby, but there is one literally not even 10 steps away, but I'm just going to drag it in the sink and I think she's going to eat another slice and put it away. Um, That's what we're going to do because look, her hunger level is going down already. Y'all see that? And she ate two slices of pizza, child. But she's eating for two. We got to make sure sis is eating. Sis need to make a salad later because sis, we can't be out here eating this junk and these cupcakes and cakes and cookies and pizza. And when you have that baby, sis gonna be mad at herself. She's gonna be pissed at herself. Because if y'all watch season one, Tamara had a pretty, you know, bang boom, okay? She was pretty, you know, shaped. I'm not saying anything is wrong if she, after has the ba after she has the baby, has a little pudge, a little, new nothing wrong with it. But sis has the fitness lover skill, so she's going to be pissed when she realizes she doesn't like her body. So I'm going to need sis to get it together. But it's so weird seeing her so big. Not big as a sense of her being fat, but like, you know, her belly being big and just her being pregnant is just so new for me because... I did, this baby was not planned. When she went over and got her woohoo appointments with Keon, I was like, please don't be pregnant. And she ended up being pregnant. So it's five in the morning. Sis is feeling good. Her energy is just low. So we're just about to go upstairs and probably take a little, I guess, go to sleep until like the morning time. So let's just sleep. Reese, oh, Reese is, this is so neglectful. I literally always get pets and forget about them. He's licking puddles. I don't know if it's rain or what it is, but like, no. Is she already upstairs? Okay, she's not upstairs yet. No, we need to go ahead and lecture him about playing in puddles. Okay, lecture about drinking from a puddle. And let's go ahead and feed him. We're going to fill the bowl and call him to eat. 
and we're gonna go get us some sleep is he dirty wait we need to feed him and then give him a bath okay so we're gonna give him a bath so we're gonna tell him to stop drinking from the puddle then feed him and then give him a bath her being pregnant like ah I just hope this is not too stressful for her because right now she's taking a little break from school as you know she is a student at Howard University and she has six out of the 12 credits she needs for a biology degree because I want her to become like a doctor or pediatrician something in that sort of you know field I realized that her best friend Crystal is a surgeon like I'm like sis how like sis is making that good money i went in game and i played with crystals i didn't play with crystal's household i went in her household for um i don't know, remember why i went in her household but i'm like crystal is a surgeon out here crystal is really out here doing surgery on folks but ooh, her back is killing her maybe she can take a bath oh yeah she's getting tired At first i was gonna give reesey a bath well maybe we can take a little nap and then give him a bath when he once he gets done with his food he really doesn't usually take that long to eat but since he still isn't done, we're going to take a little quick nap until he's done. And then give him a bath. And then we're going to take a bath and go to bed. It is 6 in the freaking morning and we haven't went to sleep yet. This girl will stay up all night eating. I promise y'all. Like, y'all see her hunger level is already getting low as soon as she got done with the pizza. She's up all night eating. And she has to the bathroom again. And her hunger level starting to get low again. Let's get up and give him a bath. We really need to put like... A little bath for him we're gonna give him a bath then we're gonna take a bath what we're gonna take a bath ourselves we're gonna take a rose petal bath and then what else is oh she needs to use the bathroom i'm gonna have her use the bathroom sierra when are you gonna ever figure out where the toilet is right here use the bathroom we need to replace this potty with an actual functional potty but it you know it's really not that deep right now since she hasn't even had the baby yet and we have to age him up for him to even use the potty but um what are you doing over here what okay literally like what i want her to teleport here okay girl just use the bathroom at this point use the bathroom give him try to give him a bath and then take a rose petal bath i don't know why she was all the way outside with her daggone bonnet and no shoes on sis I forgot she's tired. She really needs to go to bed after she does all this. Trying to cake, trying to take cake, trying to take care of a freaking dog and being pregnant is a little rough so far. A little rough. I'm not going to lie. Imagine if she was taking classes. Good grief. I'm waiting for her to have this freaking baby so I can go ahead and roll her back into Howard and finish these last credits. We're halfway away. We're halfway there, sis. I need to learn to quit talking so fast because I like literally keep stumbling on my words and repeating stuff. Or saying stuff wrong. That's me. Totally. Um, What is she doing? I think she's about to go t tell him to go take a bath. He's literally right there. What are y'all doing? Alright. She's about to tell him to go. Because he looks dirty to me. He looks a bit dirty. His fur is so dark. So I can't really tell. But Reese, quit playing and come on. What are they doing? Oh my gosh. I don't know what that is about, but I'm going to just teleport her, have her take a bath and go to sleep. Because at this point, I've tried this twice and it's not working. So, I'm going to shift click the floor near the t the bath. And I'm going to just teleport her there and I'm going to take a bath, have her take a, um, a muscle relaxing soak and then go to sleep. Yep. We tried, y'all. We tried to, we fed him. At least we fed him. But, this little water fountain thing is such a vibe. I love it. Even though that we bought this house in Delta Valley and I realized, huh, maybe this house wasn't as kid friendly, but we gonna make it work. So if you didn't see last episode at this point, sis, she should have been done paused and checked it out because <laughs> you're going to be real clueless if you didn't watch the last episode. But even if you didn't, um, I decided that this was going to be her son's room. Now, her baby daddy's name is Keon Shelton. Her name is Tamara Hughes. So I kept thinking of baby names. I was like, okay, since it's a boy, it could be Keon Jr. But I was like, nah, because they're, Ooh, she falling asleep in a tub. I was about to say, I really didn't want to do Keon Jr. Because like, sometimes I feel like Keon Jr. is first, 
you naming the kid a junior is if you like really committed with you know that person we're not even really in a committed relationship with him oh that's why she's falling asleep she's freaking exhausted all right sis get out the tub and go ahead and go to sleep um i decided on the name kimani okay now if y'all don't like it it's okay because i like it <laughs> but i definitely wanted to incorporate you know mara m some type of m like her name is tamara his name is keon so i was like m and Ke you know something had to be you know in that name like that why does this always fast forward when they go to bed so i was like kimani so it's gonna be pronounced Kamani. It's gonna be spelled K-E-M-O-N-I. I might have it on the screen somewhere when I introduce. But her son, I'm gonna name him Kamani. I don't really have a middle name. Y'all could choose the middle name. Now I could choose the middle name from y'all. So if y'all think of a middle name, let me know. So Kamani Blank Shelton is gonna be Tamara's son's name. I think he's gonna be super cute. I think being a new mother, because I'm not gonna age up the baby too soon. I want her to experience, you know, breastfeeding, the baby crying, going through that whole phase. So the baby's gonna be very EA ish until I age him up and make him cute. But what are you barking about? Where did he even go? Why is he running around? Ah, I wanted a, a dog because, you know, she was really lonely in her apartment. But like, Reese, you're doing too much for me. Doing way too much. You can't sleep. We try to, we had fed him. I don't know if he. You know, he has the friendly trait. He has, like, the um, energetic dog trait or something. Or He's playing with his little Gucci dog bone. Yes, our dog is bougie. But um, I think he just wants to play around. So uh, I may have her walk him, do, like, a short walk. Then I may have her go out to brunch with her girls at, like, well, it's 10 o'clock. Brunch is, like, 11-ish, 12 at the latest. I was just saying she could go to brunch. Her hunger level is, the arrows are starting to go low. It's not low, though. Her energy level is super low, so she really needs to get some sleep. What I'm noticing is her bladder and hunger level constantly goes low 24-7 since she's carrying her son. But, um, yeah. I mean, she's just sleeping, so there's not really much to talk about. I feel like I talk a lot, and it's only because I have a lot to say, and it just helps, you know, y'all understand what's going on, how I'm feeling, fill you in on stuff, things behind the scenes that you didn't see. So, like I said, I want her to probably go out to brunch with her girl. She can't do too, too much because she is pregnant. Um, Maybe, you know, hang out with her family. You know, her she has a younger sister named Cameron who has a daughter who we just aged up named Janessa. And she has a younger brother named Jamari who just graduated from high school. He's about to go to college. And that's it. It's just them three. She has a mother named Tahiri who had been in jail for a while on drugs. They were raised by their uncle, which is Tahiri's brother, Jarrell. He just had a son. His name is, I want to say, Jaren or something. I don't know what the son's name is. Jelani. So her uncle, Gerald, Gerald, Jarrell, her uncle, Jarrell, they call him Uncle Rail. He has a son named Jelani, which he just had with his wife. I think it's probably episode three or four where the wedding happened. It's near the end. But he married his wife. Uh, her name is Alicia. And they have a son named Jelani. That's his first kid. I believe she has a... She, she actually has a daughter by another dude, but she does not have custody of her at all. Like, I don't know what happened. She's not even in, listed as her children anymore. She has a daughter named Madeira by this dude. I don't even remember his name, but she has a daughter named Madeira. And now she has a son named Jelani with Jarrell. Um, something I just realized. Y'all know uh, Miko from the Cobb Sisters. Miko dates her brother, which is Jamari. And why is her name Holly in here? Like... Her name was changed to Holly Alto when her name is Miko Russell. How the heck did that happen? That is so weird. I'm like, who the heck is Holly? Y'all see this as Holly Alto. Her name is Miko Russell. So I'm gonna have to fix that. Cause like, that literally just pissed me off. Like I hate when I go in game and stuff is changed and names are changed and stuff is just all messed up. It really irritates me. Cause like, I don't feel like redoing that stuff. Okay. Even though it's just one name change. Why the heck did that happen and how? You know what I mean? If that's ever happened to you, let me know in the comments. And let me know like, how can I fix that? Cause I don't want to go in game and five people's names are changed. Cause that's going to irritate me. But, um, seems like her energy level is good now, but she's hungry. So I'm going to wake her up and have her take a shower. We took a little bath. I'm going to have her take a steam shower. Just get her day started. We're getting a very um, late. Well, not a late start, but she woke up at 12 o'clock. I'm going to have her brush her teeth, wash her hands. She changed her little pajama. She wobbling. Look at her wobbling. But um, I'm going to have her take a little quick shower. Um, And why is her hair looking like that? 
Oh, I forgot. She was, you know, washing her hair. It's got like little white streaks in them or something. But let's check her little moods real quick. So she's feeling energized. She's hydrated from drinking water. Home sweet home. Home turf sims are happy when they're in their neighborhood. She's in her third trimester. This sim is nearly full term. More than ready to have this kid and be done with it already. Give birth in. I hope she doesn't get. I hope she doesn't. What am I trying to say? I hope she doesn't give birth before the freaking baby shower. That's literally like the worst. Like, you didn't have the baby. We didn't have the baby shower yet. Like, but we're about to have our baby shower and go ahead and get this over with. She's having food craving. Tamara's dreaming of greasy pizza, cheese, loaded mashed potatoes. Like, girl. When are you never, though? When are you never craving something? You just had pizza. She's about to she's about to take a shower. Brush her teeth and just wash her hands and just clean herself off and stuff. So she just hopped out the shower smelling like a scented candle. Okay. Um, I don't know why she's got that on, but it, you know, it's comfortable. It's cute. She just said she wanted to be comfortable and cute. Okay. After that, I, she's hungry and her bladder's low again. After she does this, I'm going to have her just use the bathroom. Again. Okay. Again. She didn't pee like five times since we didn't started this Let's Play. Um, and Risa keeps going up and down the stairs, running, running all over the house, just running like a madman. Oh, a lot of stuff is going on here. Okay. Brush your teeth, mini fresh, being naked, clean hands, you know, all the same thing I already read. Ooh, why are all these people here? And she's beefing with this girl right here. Seven. She's only beefing with her because if y'all don't know, she had been talking to this dude in jail. His name is. Ooh, she's just mean. I, I'm just going to guess. She had been talking to this dude. They don't even have a love meter. She's talking to this dude named King. Him, Her and King had some dealings if y'all watched Locked Up. She don't like Tamara now. Who don't like? I feel like the girls that don't like Tamara either are mad because the dude that they dealt with or are dealing with still like her or still hit her up. Or like she's beefing with this girl that she tried out named Asia. It just didn't work out. Tamara wasn't really feeling her after they woohoo. And she just let her go. And she was like, lose my never number. Never talk to me again. I don't remember what episode that is. I might put it on the screen what episode that is. But sis is back is hurting. Um, I'm about to have her um, hit up Keon just to see, you know, see how he's doing. But I'm about to uh, call and invite Mackenzie. I'm going to have her invite Mackenzie, Gianni, um, Mackenzie, Gianni, and Crystal over. So let's do... Gianni, let's invite to hang out. Let's invite Crystal to hang out. Did I do invite to hang out? Okay, so we're going to Crystal, Gianni, and Mackenzie. And then maybe one other friend. Let's maybe do Drew. Because she's really close to Drew. She's close to Hope, too. But we're just going to limit it to four. And maybe we could do six. We'll see. We'll see who all comes. They most likely all will come because it's only one o'clock. And I realize, hmm. It's Thursday and Crystal may have to work because she's definitely working as a surgeon. But she might be like, forget all that. I'm going out. But I think they could just go out to eat or something. Go out to brunch. Something cute. I want to change Tamara's outfit to something else. So she should be calling Gianni now. It says Gianni McCoy will be right over. Gianni has a son. I don't remember what her son's name is. I know Gianni has a son. Mackenzie has a daughter. Drew doesn't have any kids. Crystal don't, don't have any kids. I, at least that's I don't think Crystal has kids yet. Um, let's see. I hate how the outfits take so long to load. I just want to find a cute little outfit to go out with, or you know, a cuter outfit. What she has on is comfortable. Well, we've seen it already. We seen it. Okay. Um, it might be in party. Yeah, this is cute. I think this is the outfit I changed. She got the little chin net bob, okay? Does she got heels on? She got some little heels on, little fur heels. The shoes are by Indie Sim. This outfit right here is by Coco Games. The bob is by Brandy Sims. She looks cute, though. She's hitting up everybody. So let's check. It seems like Mackenzie's coming over, Crystal's coming over, and Gianni. Reese has learned to not drink from puddles. Thank goodness. Oh, how cute. Hello. Oh, why is her arms glitch like that? Look, her, them things is too big. She had to reach over them. <gasps> oh, who is stinking? Is it Reese? Because we tried to bathe him so many times. I'm dead. Okay. She's like, what a relief. She showered. 
All right, so what is going on over here? See, this is what I'm talking about. They changed her freaking name and I'm pissed because this is Miko. Anyways, I think it it changed because originally her name was Holly Alto, which is like somebody famous that comes with the game. And I changed, I edited her. Here's Drew. Oh, Drew looks so cute. Okay. Period. Let's see. I'm trying to see where everybody's at. Okay, Mackenzie's here. I'm going to teleport um, to me right here. Let's hope uh, Reese's going to be all right. Let's give her a hug. So let's do share big news. I think she's already told Mackenzie she's pregnant. Okay, Crystal. The Bob, too. I need to change Crystal's outfit. I think I made her a little outfit. Let's do this. Dress her, change outfit. You know what? We could do brunch at home. That could be... A good idea. A brunch at home. That's cute and comfortable. She hugged her. Um, share big news with her. Let's form a group. Oh, Mackenzie is always hot. Not you just coming up into our crib. What are they asking me about somebody else? Let's pretend she told her her due date or something. And she got excited. Like, oh my gosh, girl, you're about to pop. Oh my gosh, we're about to be moms together. Uh, let's do form a group. Okay, let's form a group. I don't know why Seven's in a group. Let's form a group with Crystal, Gianni, Drew, and Mackenzie. And at first I was going to have them go out, but like, maybe they can go out to the deck and like chill for a little bit. It's these girls all coming in thinking they just run the place for me. Juden came in and just started watching my TV. What is this, sis? With your lime green on. Uh, Tamara's outside talking to Mackenzie. Mackenzie's always high. Like, y'all seen that? Sis be getting high. Why are we going upstairs? Why? Because I thought I had y'all sit out here. But y'all going upstairs. I'm confused. Okay. So let's fall in my game. So ideally, it's like October, November-ish. Oh, she's hugging Gianni. I'm not Gianni Crystal. Gianni looks cute, though. I don't, I don't know if I like her outfit, but it's cool. I don't like Mackenzie's outfit, either. All right, come on, Drew. Oh, Tamara's hungry again. This would be a cute, cute little thumbnail. Hold up. Hold up. Alright, super cute. Play. Okay, it's 3 o'clock. Tamara's getting hungry. Sis need to just keep some snacks in her inventory because she can on my nerves. Are we going to sit or not? Nah? All your friends are going except you. Let's light this little fireplace. And pour champagne for them. You know, she's pregnant, so we're not pouring no champagne for her. Even though Tamara wish she can drink, wish she can smoke. Tamara is a smoker, I swear. She used to smoke every freaking day until she found out she was pregnant. Oh, did Crystal just jump into... Whoa! Drew just jumped into the pool naked. Sis, this wasn't that type of party! Drew, put some clothes on. Goodness. Alright, back to the regular scheduled programming. <laughs> Okay, Tamara's lighting a little fire. I'm about to have them just sit together. Sit. <laughs> now she's looking all sad. She's hungry. What's this? Mood swing. Sad. From pregnancy. The slightest little things are making Tamara want to cry. Hormones are all out of whack, probably. Hungry. Huh, child. Maybe we should just go ahead and go out to eat. Um... With the gang. I'm going to save this progress. Alright y'all. So all of them were trying to jump into the pool and swim. I know this pool is beautiful. It's gorgeous. But Tamara's starving. She's getting sad. She's getting really moody. So I think I'm going to just take the girls. Gianni, Crystal, Drew, and Mackenzie. We're just going to all go out to eat. I don't know where we're going to go. But I will see y'all there.
All right, y'all. So we're here at this restaurant that I got off the gallery. It's called Dos Sombreros. It's a Mexican restaurant. I couldn't figure out where I wanted them to go. I wanted it to be something different. At first, I was like brunch, but maybe they could just get some Mexican food, get some margaritas. Of course, not Tamara, but um, I came in and we got a table from one of the hostesses. Hostesses? One of the hostess? Um, Tamara's heading over. We invited Cameron along with us, so, um, our table is going to be outside. Since there's only four tables, not four tables, since their tables only come with four and there's six of us, two of them are going to have to sit somewhere else, and I'm not, I'm not sure who's going to sit where. They, did they sit the other ones over here? Oh, wow. Okay. So, Gianni's, not Gianni, uh, Drew changed her outfit. She's sitting here. We're going to sit, this was the hostess. Her name is, uh... Brasida Carrillo Carrillo yeah that's the hostess we're just gonna go ahead and order for table because I know they are gonna be tripping let's um we're gonna do like a celebra celebratory like Tamara's about to pop out her baby soon so maybe we can start off with some cake so let's bring out some chocolate cake for you know her little why did Gianni got on the freaking um, she got on an outfit for Janessa's party, little birthday Doc McStuffins outfit. Like, sis, get it together. She don't got nothing else cute? I guess not. She just got to wear this. I need to really update her friend's outfits. Let's all grab a piece together. So it looks like it's Gianni, Drew, Cameron. I don't know where Mackenzie is. Probably somewhere getting high. Why can't you get you any cake, girl? Crystal. Mm -hmm. Alright, so we're just eating some chocolate cake for right now. I don't know what Crystal's doing. Tamara looking at that menu like, she's like, I don't... She said, forget this cake! Okay, I don't care about Reginald right now. What the heck? Um, I hate that they don't got a six-top table. I just seen the cops, family, grandparents just walk in here. It was, um... Her grandma, which is Marisol's mom, Maria, and then her, uh, Joseph, which is Suzanne's husband. He in here getting him a little drink, okay? Um. Simona Sarah. And we invited Cameron. I think I already said that. I'm gonna put this cake in her inventory. And let's go order for table. Oh, here's Mackenzie. All right, so we're about to order. They have uh, lemonades, and they also have, um, they don't have margaritas. They have, like, you know, cute little drinks. Um, Tamara's just going to get a lemonade. Let's get Tamara a lemonade because she can't drink. I'm going to get Mackenzie. I'm going to get all the girls mimosas. Um, the mimosas are $13 a piece, and the peach lemonade is $13. The other drinks are the 80s. The Pink Lady, Sex on the Beach, Tequila Sunrise. Wait, maybe somebody can get a Tequila Sunrise. Um, So the appetizers they have, they have taquitos, chips and guacamole, fries, meat and cheese platter, dinner rolls, samosas, empanadas, pita and hummus, hummus, whatever, however way it's pronounced. Plant, plant, why am I trying to pronounce this stuff? Just a bunch of stuff, basically. I think I'm going to get Tamara... What the heck? Their menu is trash. A rep, a Rolino con perico. I'm gonna get somebody that. Maybe her. I'm gonna try to get everybody something different. Her this, um, mac and cheese brisket wrap. What rice and bean burrito? Maybe Crystal can get that. Black and bean, black bean taco. Maybe Tamara can get the black bean taco since it's chef's choice. Um, pollo a la brasa. I'm going to get Cameron. And then... Fejiojara. Maybe she can get that. Looks like some type of... Like a... Gumbo sort of situation. But everybody order... Our bill is $419. We're gonna go ahead and order. We're eating cake, mingling. Oh, she taking a picture. Oh, she taking pictures of Tamara. She like, girl, you look too good. Eight months pregnant and all. Okay. Um, 
Yeah, I wanted to. Everybody changed their freaking outfits. It's not what I wanted them to wear. Well, this is beautiful right here. I love this. Ooh, okay. Taking the order. You right on it. Um, Nicole. All right, so we out with the girls at five o'clock. It's every bit of dinner time now. Getting Mexican food. Uh, hopefully, it's good. I hope it's good. Tamara has to use the freaking bathroom. Uh, now we're just gonna wait for our order to be delivered. Who's upstairs cooking? I don't. There's a kit. I know there's a kitchen upstairs. Where's the kitchen? Oh, here it is. Uh, they're leaving all these pots unoccupied. What the heck? I hope it don't take long. Oh, here's the cops family. Grandpa on the dad. No, that's some on the mob side. I was about to say the dad side. Uh, both his parents died. And I thought that was so crazy. Why is Cameron standing? Oh, Crystal's over here by herself. I feel so bad. Girl, come over here with ya. With ya. Non wanting to mingle with self. Um. Ask about her day. Oh, she's about to go use the bathroom. She said, y'all got me messed up. I gotta go pee. What? Eli Burris. Hi, Tamara. With the impression you've made, I think social media career is a perfect fit. You may not have a lot of followers yet, but we'll get started as a clickbait writer. And the, and the likes will start rolling in. What do you say? <laughs> like, I'm glad you don't think I'm, my llama jokes are getting old. Cameron came over and sat with Crystal. Maybe they can take a picture. Take pictures with all your friends. Take photo with Crystal. Not her bit. I forgot uh, Ernest is a sugar daddy. And if y'all remember the episode that he invited her to some real weird bar. And was trying to get some sugar. She was trying to get some money from him. And he didn't give her no money. He was saying like she wasn't that cute. Like boy. Look at you. Look how you looking. Every bit of 70 years old gonna talk about uh, you ain't all that but good looking. But you all ain't all good looking either. Hope this food don't take a long time. I remember when I went here with the Cobb family and... The f no waiter ever came to us. And it was like three waiters. Why is she crying? Ugh. Tamara. It looked better like this. Taking a picture with Crystal. Memories. Okay. Crystal looks so good. I bet you guys are wondering. Crystal looks a bit different. I did edit her a little bit. Changed her look up a little bit. She looked different in season one. So. That's probably why. Uh, Mackenzie, too. Mackenzie looks a little different. Is this our food? I don't see anything in her hand. It's very weird, but... Ooh, and she glitched. Ooh, and she she just teleported over here. Looks like our food is here. Okay. Ooh, Gianni is too excited. Alright, let's look at this food. It looks like some little arrows, compoyo tacos, gumbo. Okay, this is Tamara's seat right here, so I'm gonna have her sit and eat because she is too ready to eat and drink Let's, these mimosas look disgusting though they're normal quality black bean taco excellent okay i forgot who was up there cooking peach lemonade is normal they are too excited to eat well at least we got our food i don't know if we're gonna go out because you know tamara's pregnant <laughs> but if anything we probably would have went out if y'all want this lot just let me know, and I'll tell y'all what the gallery name is of the person who made it. Uh, I didn't check everybody else's food quality. Um, why is Tamara... Sit down, girl! Tamara's sad. She getting tired, sis. I should not have you out this late pregnant. This daggone big pregnant. Everybody just keep getting up. But a normal... No, excellent. Ooh, her little repetitive... Er Erepe de Pab I don't know what the heck that is. Um, Alright, Drew. Girl. She didn't even reset. I was trying to reset her because she's playing around. Let's check Crystal and Cameron's food. Pollo a la brasa. Excellent. Rice and bean burrito. Excellent. Girl, if you don't come over and eat this food. So I'm starting to do the uh, control any semi because you're about to get on my nerves. Tamara is getting tired. I'm about to cheat that level up. 
Take notes? What the heck are you taking notes for, uh, Tamara? <laughs> Weird. None of them is eating their food. Alright. Nobody's eating their food. Well, Cameron and Crystal drank their mimosas. They all drank their mimosas and didn't eat any of their food. Well, it looked like... I don't know who was sitting here. Somebody took a bite. I think Mackenzie took a bite of her little taco thing. Y'all might not take forever to eat. It's almost 9 o'clock. But we, I guess we can chat a little bit. Um, friendly. Let's talk to Gianni. Ask about her favorite color. Let's talk to... Um, we're asking... We're asking Gianni her favorite color and asking Drew how her day was. Jamari just texts. Jamari is Tamara's brother. He said, hey, sis, I'm really, really bored. Do you want to come over and hang out for a bit? We're at the restaurant, so I'll come over another day. Ooh, or not another day, but maybe later or something. Tamara has learned that Gianni hates. Well, not hates. Jelani. Did I say Jelani? I oh, my gosh. Gianni dislikes orange. Y'all, are y'all not eating? Like, y'all not about to waste my money. Because that's what y'all not about to do. I think I'm going to do the control. Every time I do the control any sim mod. And, like, I add them to the family. And then I take them out the family. They, like, disappear in the world. Like, I can't even go and edit them back in, you know, cast. So, I guess if they eat, they eat. I don't, I don't even trip about it. Why she got a random plate in her? Ooh. Okay, it's 9 o'clock. Uh, Mackenzie had a different outfit on. I want to take a picture with Mackenzie. Change outfits. Did Tamara eat? Tamara ate all her food. Like, shoot. And she has to use the bathroom. Oh. I might have used the bathroom. I didn't even know they had bathrooms. I think they do. Like, they're in a corner or something. All right, here. The waiter's in here looking at herself. Uh-uh, girl, go wait them tables. And you're looking at herself. Oh, there's another bathroom right here. Tamara's in here using the bathroom. Get some water. And we about to go ahead and pay this bill. I gave these girls ample time to eat their food. I don't understand. It looks like Mackenzie took a bite of her food. They drank their... Ooh. Some more people are coming in. It looked like, uh, Crystal took a bite of that. I know Crystal is not smoking. Oh, this, yeah, that outfit's cute. Sis, you're at a freaking public restaurant smoking a blunt. She said, I don't care, girl. I'm about to take this blunt out and get lit. All right, so we're about to end meal and pay because I'm not about to play with them in this food. If y'all was hungry, y'all would have ate. That's all I'm going to say. Oh, not the cause friendly grandpa walking around naked. Charles, no. Oh, my gosh. How embarrassing. If I was playing the cops family, I would be so freaking embarrassed. Oh, it, it was only a matter of time Mackenzie pulled out a blunt. Of course, Mackenzie has a blunt. Her baby daddy and Demi must really be stressing her out. Um, Maybe now we can, um, I don't know, travel back to her crib and just chill? Because at this point, it's almost 11 o'clock. And Tamara can't do a whole lot of hanging out late at night because... Oh, this would be a super cute thumbnail. Because sis is dang near nine months pregnant it's just too much for her so we're gonna go ahead back to the crib and probably chill and hang out and if they need to go they can go we can just probably chat it up or whatever tomorrow friday we're gonna work on just probably getting the, her little baby room decorated in yeah okay y'all so we are back at tamara's house i invited the girls over i'm not sure what everybody's doing but tamara's warming herself up we're outside what are they doing see this is why i don't be inviting them over they are doing their own thing drew loves this tv Drew and Gianni are downstairs. I don't know what they're about to do. Go upstairs and sleep in my bed or something? 
But uh, Tamara's about to hop on this girl because I know girls get, she getting hungry again. <laughs> well, she's not, but I know she will. She's working on these shish kebabs, okay? Gianni and Drew are watching TV. Tamara seems to be in a good mood. I don't know where Cameron... Mackenzie and Cameron are upstairs in my room. Like, always, Crystal is just roaming around. Okay, maybe I can call the meal because nobody really ate. Grab a serving together. Never hurts to eat a little something something. It's, um, it's midnight. It's the next day. It's Friday. <laughs> We've been hanging out for a long time. What is what are you doing, Samara? And what I didn't know is this little like baby thing is functional. You can like put toddlers in here and feed them like a hygiene. I think that's so cool. Everybody's eating in their own areas. Drew and Crystal. Crystal is so high. When she gets high, her eyes turn red. I guess because I have her eyes set to red. And I need to change that because that looks really scary. And it looks like Cameron's getting her some. Excellent quality shish kebab. Ooh, Mackenzie came running. Okay. <laughs> Friendly. Ask how her family is. What? We go from crying to laughing. I am confused. What is funny? Isn't this the cooking channel? Oh, girl, you must be drunk off that mimosa. I think she had a, um, I forget. Everybody else had a mimosa. I think I got her or something else. I forgot. But I'm com I'm convinced sis is drunk. And I'm convinced they love going upstairs into my room. Like, Drew. It's supposed to be a girl's night and y'all just doing whatever y'all want. I know there's limited things we can do, but gosh, did she ever, she put that pizza up, I'm sure. Um, we feed Reese at the oddest times. We're going to feed him at 1.30 in the morning. Oh, there's cups everywhere. Let's get it together. We're going to just sit in here because they keep sitting everywhere but where I need them to be. And it's really annoying. All right, so Reese's about to eat, and I'm about to see if we can sit together in this little area right here. Oh, Mackenzie, who stink? Is it Reese that stinks? All right. We took a picture with who? I think Crystal. So she should have a picture that she can put somewhere. Um, let's see. She has this picture she took at her niece's birthday. Oh, here's a picture of Crystal. We can put that there. So she put this picture of Crystal right here. It's really blurry. Let's add a black frame to it. This selfie she took at Janessa's birthday can just go here. Is this cake spoiled? We're going to save that little piece of cake. Because y'all know she be having them sweet cravings. We're going to put it in the refrigerator. All right. What is this? Okay, that was a DVD player. Ooh, are y'all beefing? All right, so I'm about to check her. She has to use the bathroom, so I'm going to click this ever use the bathroom. Oh, that's the D DVD player that goes here. Oh, uh, Tamara, she's in the bathroom. I'm going to have her get some water. I'm going to keep her hydrated. She's feeling very happy. It's 2 in the morning. She had some she had some shish kebab. She ate a black bean taco at Dos Sombreros. The service was pretty good. We At least we got a waiter. The food didn't take that long. And we're hanging with our girls. I might have them go on home because it's 2 in the morning. It's not that late, but, like, they keep roaming around. Like, Drew, Crystal, and Mackenzie are in the living room. Where are Cameron and Gianni? 
Gianni's on my computer and yo, I did not know there was a bathroom upstairs too. There's a freaking bathroom right here. That goes to show how I don't know nothing about this house. Okay, Mackenzie appears to be leaving. Um, I'm not sure who that is. Crystal's leaving. Cameron's heading out. So I leave Gianni and Drew. Um, I'm gonna turn. What is he doing? She's pretty energetic. Maybe we can go on a short walk. Let's go do that. We do stuff at the weirdest hours here in Delta Valley. We're about to go try to walk Reese. I think Gianni and Drew should be leaving soon since Crystal. Who is out here looking glitched like that? Oh, that's. What the hell? That's Faith. Okay. Let's go on this little walk. Alright, so they're about to go on a walk. Left this music on. Alright. So we're going on a walk at 3.30 in the morning. Because she's feeling energetic. Um, her social level is low. Yeah, her friends were over. But they kept walking around. When do Sims ever listen anyways? Are we going... Is that the short walk? Like, what are y'all doing? What is going on? This will be a cute thumbnail. He looks so cute. Alright. I'm not sure what they're doing. They're supposed to be going on a short walk. She just stood there and took in the breeze, I guess. I don't know. Y'all see her little car? Okay. She rolling. We ain't even talked to our baby daddy today. We really need to talk to him so he can come over and help us put this baby house baby house so he can help us put this baby room together a lot of y'all in the comments was a lot of you in the comments were saying that she shouldn't have him move in with her should we put him on child support or what should we do because we're not in no relationship with him we're not even in no committed relationship with keon and based on the movie trip um he got other girls he'd be dealing with still. Is this all y'all doing? She just keeps standing and, and pausing. But uh, I don't know what we're going to do. I think, you know, they can co-parent and we can see if, you know, he does right. But um, look at her little wobble trying to walk him. Oh, he glitched. Did y'all see that? Um... Encourage Reese to do business. Let him go ahead and do his business while he's outside. Alright. Maybe this will be healthy exercise for her. We oh, That's what I really need to do. I need to buy like an exercise machine so she can work out and stuff. Like Tamara loves working out. I don't know where the heck they're going but... This is kind of longer than a short walk. Okay, so her social level is starting to get lower. Her hunger level is getting low. Bladder is getting low. Let's put these shish kebabs in the refrigerator. Let's put this plate in the sink. Where is she at? Is she coming back? Okay. Are we done? I guess we're done. We took, on him, a, took him on a little walk. Um... Rough house. Maybe we can play with him a little bit. Well, at least Tamara's in a good mood. Um, she's not really moody. She's feeling pretty energetic and happy. You know. Hopefully, the baby makes her happy and not stressed out because I'm trying to have her multitask. You know, finishing out her degree at Howard and raising her son and co-parenting with Keon because I don't know if I want to be in relationship with him or not because he doesn't give off the vibes that he really wants to be in a committed committed relationship I think he likes the idea of being with Tamara but he still want to deal with his other flings and we're not with none of that okay we trying to find a husband okay and we got a dog too so we already you know been raising Reese even though we might neglect him every now and then my bad but Reese is a lot all in himself okay especially when he was a puppy like goodness especially when we lived in that apartment Gianni you're still here Girl, if you don't get off my computer. Bye. 
no i'm not gonna be mean i guess she can um i'm gonna just send her home through the mc commander's mc command center cheat she has to use the bathroom really bad so i'm actually teleport tamira upstairs oh my gosh teleport her But y'all let me know in the comments. I know a lot of y'all were saying like, don't let, don't let Kian move in. Just let them co-parent. Let me know what y'all truly think at this point since she's about to have the baby. So I feel like when she actually has him, it is always nice to have somebody to help out. She can sleep when the baby's crying. He can help out. He's Hopefully he comes over to see, comes over to see the baby. But let's have her use the bathroom. Then I need to make this functional. Well, I said I, it doesn't even matter now. I have to get to this thing, so I will see you another time. I think Drew was still here, though. I don't remember her saying, she saying that she left. We need to put these lights out, because I don't want no fire starting. So after she uses the bathroom, I'm going to have her put these lights out and empty this tray, because nobody even took any champagne while they were here. So it's officially 6 in the morning. Um, I'm going to probably have her just sleep for some a couple hours, and then we're going to call Kian over so we can get this baby a room together let's pretend like you know she went shopping and she really need him to put like the bit gianni i thought you were leaving sis what is going on y'all love swimming in my pool i don't know if that's the way for them to get out through the back but like sis you could have went through the front door what is she doing what did i have her do i forgot okay her social level her hunger level is getting low Maybe we can get some leftovers. I know she got a bunch of leftovers she can eat real quick before she sleeps. Um, yep. Yeah, we got some barbecue chicken sliders, some chicken stir fry, meat lovers pizza, grilled cheese sandwiches. We got some herb crusted salmon, more chicken stir fry. We got some ice cream, some cookies, some cake. Oh, her. She killed me. <laughs> Shish kebabs. Let's just eat some more of this meat lovers and then go to sleep. All right, so Tamara's having some early morning cravings. We're going to eat some pizza, then we're going to go to sleep. Then we're going to hit up our baby daddy so we can get this baby room together. And I'm going to do a speed build, decorating his room as much as I can. I'm not going to do anything. I'm going to do a detail to make it look nice, but I feel like my finishing touches are probably going to be off screen. But I'll try to do as much as I can on screen. It's going to be a speed build. But um, I can't wait for her to have her son, Kamani. I'm so excited she is gonna be a really good mom i know for a fact because she played a really good role as auntie for her younger sister cameron's daughter janessa oh she going okay she's going to sleep and yeah you know what she could have did she could have just tended this bar and made some drinks for them right here i forgot there was a little cute little bar right here and somebody left their freaking play just disgusting Ugh. but she's about to go to sleep and then probably around 1 o'clock, we're going to hit up Kiana and come over and help us with this daggone baby room. Okay? But she's feeling okay. Um, Hydrated, puppy power. To playing with dogs can sure get Tamara jazzed up. A new life within. Sometimes Tamara is overwhelmed with delight at the feeling of his of his baby of her baby growing within that's all written wrong um basically she's happy about being pregnant um home sweet home she's in her third trimester and she ate some good food the voting period has opened max neighborhood action plans are currently active i don't be participating in any of that the one thing i do not like is the freaking bags on the heads that's the only thing i hate about the freaking whatever the eco living thing whatever it is um it's the only thing I really hate. Like, why the freak are people walking around with bags over their heads? It's so stupid to me. Let's fast forward this to about 10 o'clock. Oh, Reese's about to go to sleep, it looks like. Is he? He just never go to sleep. He sleeps everywhere but his bed, his dog bed, which is right next to me. Okay. Fast forwarding this. He slept for 10 freaking minutes. Okay, now he's... It, what are you doing? Are you sleeping your dog bed or not? Do I have to wake up and tell you to? Let's check her needs. Why is her hunger level starting to get low again? Bladder level? It don't matter how much she eats. She's always hungry. It just never fails. Come on. Okay, he's sleeping in his dog bed. Thank goodness. Alright. So... 
Uh, let's go around this corner. So for the baby room, I don't know if I should put like a door here instead and then do sliding doors because this is just like a very open area. But since it's going to be a newborn, this is going to be his room. But I do also have um, a little baby bed next, not next to her bed, but right here for her to kind of like, you know, tend to his needs once he's first born because he's going to be probably needing her a lot and for her to walk all the way back there is going to be a lot so i think i'm gonna have him probably sleep here for maybe a little while and then move him in his baby room sounds logical but uh she should be getting up soon it's 11 o'clock i'm probably gonna have her get up and take a shower and eat again eat again shower get water brush teeth wash hands Use bathroom. Let's just get ourselves together. What? Whoa! Did he just show up to our crib? Yo. Let's pretend he came a little early. We said 1.30, sir. He just... Did, does he have a key to our crib? Like, can not just walk... I knew I seen, a, like, a, a man just walking up her stairs. That is so freaking scary. I may be nine months pregnant, but I'm going to pull out the Glocky on you. Don't play with me. Don't just show up to our crib without texting us first. What the hell? Like, you better be lucky we need you to come. He came to get on his damn computer. What? Probably. Colton Mahanan. You've got quite the positive reputation. Gardener decline. He came all the way to our crib to get on our damn computer. At least you're here early, sir. At least you're dependable, because... Mm -mm. I don't have any hate towards him. It's just like I don't fully see him as being in a committed, like being a committed partner. So I really was like, when she moved, well, not when she moved, he moved in her unit at Jasmine Switch, which was two apartments ago. And I was like, okay, he's cute. He really was feeling her. I remember she went to class, he wouldn't leave. I was like, okay. It's her being so comfortable to be walking around naked. Oh, she must have just been naked or glitched. She's drinking water and brushing her teeth. Yeah, we need to get this baby room together. Baby daddy didn't came three hours early. He's like, let's go ahead and get the shit over with. Then hopped on her damn computer. Didn't even text him to say he was coming. Just walked up the damn stairs. We're going to have to take his key away. I don't even think he got a damn key. Just weird. Just... Came up in our crib. Do we got the door locked for everyone but Tamara? Because I'm, I'm very convinced that we don't since Crystal. It was either Crystal and Gianni that just walked in here. Let's do lock door for everyone but household members. Yep, perfect. All right. Let's go ahead and greet him. Ooh, is he barking at him? He's like, who the hell is this? He don't know you, Keon. Uh, help fix bad relationship. He's all oh, he beefing with Bryson. That's to, one of Tamara's friends that she went to school with. Her name is uh Mercedes. Mercedes boyfriend. Their love meter is so high for them not to be in a relationship. They're not even in a relationship. He hasn't asked her to be his girlfriend. Not romance. Let's do friendly. Just ask how he is. Asked about his freaking day. Like he came a bit early. What's going on? At least they got somewhat a good relationship. Cause, child, did she just hop on the computer? Oh, she's talking to him. Oh, he does have a key. I'm not gonna take the key, cause I want him. I'm sorry, I just huffed that freaking close to the mic, but um, I want him to be able to come and see his son when he wants to. Not gonna be that type of baby mom, okay? Um, that's about his income. Oh, we need to discuss uh, payments and, and how you about to be, you know, I don't brag about it because I don't want to get used. Oh, oh, bye. You are not funny. Anyways, um, I'm about to do pregnancy and family, I think, and see if we can discuss how we're about to go about 
co-parenting maybe let me see if i still got the mod child pregnancy and family we could talk about baby room decoration which is perfect because that's what we're going to be working on today organized to provide for the baby so basically we're going to be talking about like how do you want to do this i know the, the kid's not here yet but how you want to plan on doing this because like if we're gonna be co-parenting what, what are we doing Offer to go to early parenthood classes, enthused about pregnancy, asked to do a paternity test, asked if he wants children, too late for that buddy, about to pop any, any, any week now, admit not knowing who fathered your child, that is so funny, but he's actually the father, I'll bar, um, the dude that she woohooed with episodes ago could have been an, uh, one of the candidates, <laughs> or one of the options, but he wasn't, Keon is the father, the baby's gonna come up looking just like him, and discuss carrying a baby for another discuss opting for artificial insemination uh, discuss having a baby through a surrogate well none of those will pertain to them because she's already pregnant currently with their son so can't carry a baby for another person obviously uh can't opt for i mean they could do these after you know later if they do if she wants a baby with him i don't even know if they're gonna end up together but we're gonna start off with just talking about baby room decoration why he look like that oh don't come over here drunk come over to my crib drunk what is he laughing about just everything's fun oh who was you yelling at i don't know who you think you talking to but it ain't me sir it is not me is she talking to him about it Cause we about to go ahead and get started on this baby room. Let's go to pregnancy and family again. Complain about mood swings. And uh, we're gonna as organize how he's gonna provide for the child. What is this? Huh? Unpleasant conversations. Yeah, sentiments about oh, Keon. Women. Are y'all beefing yeah. now? Because I enjoy spending time with you. See you later. Um, no, because you're supposed to be still here. Where did he freaking go? Okay, let's add them to a group together. Not him coming over and then leaving. Like, you came over early on your own. So let's do actions. Add to group. Let's go ahead and go into Kamani's room. Tamara, what are you doing, sis? Come on. All right, so they're going to go in Kamani's room. And I'm going to go ahead and get this speed build together. And Kian let's pretend Kian is helping her put everything together and get it decorated. And I hope you enjoy the speed build.
Okay, y'all, so I'm finally finished with Tamara's son's baby room. Um, Keon helped put everything together. So based on the speed build, you'll see that I sort of went with this, like, um, Elmo, well, Sesame Street theme with, like, hints of, like, green, lime green. It's very colorful, very kid-friendly. So we have this Sesame Street rug. We have this big bird cover and then an Elmo and um, just Sesame Street pillows. Then we got this green frog um, chair and the same green frog bed frame and a um, side table with a lamp. And we have this lime green giraffe bookcase which is functional then we have a lime green little desk with like a little small cute little kid iMac computer we have Kamani his name above his bed I decided to put like a mirror here because I couldn't really think of what else to put here um I added my own little stuff after I recorded the speed build the Elmo I mean not the Elmo but the Big Bird cover and stuff weren't there I had to go back out of game and get the mesh for it and go back and put it so this is sort of what I came up with I thought it came out really cute uh we have the Sesame Street little canopy where he can go under and play with his toys and stuff so most of this stuff will be when he gets older I think while he's an infant I might put a functional bed for him to sleep in here but I think the first few weeks she might I might have her let him sleep in her room goodness um this is the sesame street little uh this this is so cute to me it's like the measuring his height sort of thing and then we got like a little potty train toilet in here then a little tv just little stuff like decor and sesame street so yeah so everything's put together i really like how it came out very colorful um very different than what i've normally done for like little baby rooms but yeah just essentials we got like a little um, I want to say like a bassinet sort of situation and then we got like this pamper diaper station um, This is a toy box and then just toys and a little diaper bag and just stuff like that. This is really cute This is like a bookshelf um, Hey black child Leo can swim um, Brown boy joy just like cute little books for her son, even though they're not functional and she can't literally read them, I think it's just a really cute touch to the room. Then above that is a little Sesame Street, you know, artwork. So that's Kamani's room. I'm so excited for her to have him and then just see her see her as a mother. It's just really exciting. I don't know why Reese is looking really creepy, but I'm getting scared. Also, I changed this toilet so it's functional. Because y'all know the other toilet I realized was not functional. It might have been. Shoot, I don't even know. But um, let's check. So Tamara is hungry again. Um, Maybe her and Keon can go out and get food together. I really feel like they should bond more since they are going to either be co-parenting or, hey, they might end up together. I don't know. I just don't see it for now. I don't see anything happening. Um, I'm just having them talk make sure my volume is up um so he does have a key to her place i'm allowing him to have that privilege to come as he pleases to see his son he just popped up today i guess he just was like i'm about to come early so he helped put it together so we're gonna thank him for that um let's ask um let's see Let's have a deep conversation. Oh, Basky Gazoo. Uh -huh. Oh my gosh. Ah, uh, Vula Shaka Teeps. Parsip Neeps. Sigluna. Oh, soy. Ah. Okay. So she's just talking to him. Um, Mood swing. She's feeling irritable. Don't talk to Tamara right now. Also, everything better Here's be exact. Oh. Galoof. Uh uh. Not him going off on her. He always like. Having his little slick marks. But anyways, I'm just trying to read that. Um, she's feeling irritable. Oh my gosh. She's feeling, feeling irritable. Don't talk to Tamara right now. Also, everything better be exactly where it's supposed to be and work exactly as it's, how, ugh, and work exactly as it's supposed to. The slightest thing out of line will make Tamara blow up in a fit of irritation. 
Ah, the joys of hormones and expecting a child. Okay, and then this simmering rage from feeling bitter about someone nearby. So I'm going to assume she's feeling very bitter towards Keon. Tamara still feels a quiet fury beneath the surface from grudges not yet forgotten. Hmm, okay. They are always beefing. Um, okay, I'm trying to do right about this whole situation ship because I really want Kimani, Kamani, to have a healthy parenthood. Not a healthy parenthood. Y'all know what I mean. I want her, him, him. I want Kamani to see a healthy co-parenting relationship between his mother and father. He went off on Tamara and walked away. Like, see, this is why we don't deal with him. Oh, where is he going? He is just so rude. And when, to think we was about to go out to eat with him, I just feel like she shouldn't take this disrespect from him. Like, he goes off on her, pointing his finger like, um, pipe down, sir. And expect us to still be buddy-buddy and lovey-dovey on him. Uh, you got us messed up, first of all. <laughs> And let I was what was I about to do? Um it's Friday, it's two fifty three, she's hungry. Um usually you're able to open the profile of the sim and I really don't know why half the time I can't do that. Like I've done it before. I just wanna see like how she feels about him. But anyways, I'm about to test to see if this little this computer is functional. Cause it's just so adorable. Let's play a game. I just wanna see if it works. Oh, looks like she's sitting at it, so it might be working. Oh, this is adorable. So cute. Oh my gosh. The room is adorable. I love it. Anyways, Tamara's feeling fairly. She's just hungry. Um, Maybe she can go out to eat with her brother, sister, and her niece. Maybe her uncle. It's just a lot of them. He's by the food boat. Maybe he's like, why the hell haven't you fed me in three days? Let's stop playing this game and feel... We really need a self-feeder bowl because... I'm telling y'all, I'm going to forget to feed Reese. As bad as that sounds, it's just too much going on and I'm going to forget. He like, I need my damn food. Like, I'm not no puppy no more. I need to eat. I need to eat, eat. Okay? I need to eat five times a day, girl. The hell's wrong with you? That's what he was saying when he was barking. He's like, you fed me once two days ago. <laughs> That's terrible. I would never literally do... What? What? What the hell? Who? What? Yo, like... Huh? Wait, this is Asia's twin sister. Y'all remember Asia, the girl that she tried out and she beefing with? Asia Monroe. This is her twin sister, China Monroe. Why the hell does girl just walk up in our crib how, what y'all I need to figure out what door is unlocked because I can't be having strangers walking up in my house and I'm about to have my son like what the hell that do the front door is locked what door does she freaking go through because I'm getting really concerned the back doors are just open or something locked door for everyone but Tamara I need her to go because, girl, what? I guess they know each other and they're cool. I don't know how she knows China. Their meter is pretty high. But, girl, what the hell? Like, she's really enraged right now. Um, Tell her to go away after you feed the, after you feed Reese. Um, aggravating conversation, mood swing, irritable, stop lying, um, simmering rage from feeling, feeling bitter by someone nearby, has to pee. No, we're not going to your party, Eli. What the heck? There's just too much going on, okay? So, I don't know if Keon left or not. I don't know why China just popped up at her crib. Like, people just doing pop-ups. You're not doing that. Now we got to really get the Glocky ready because I... people just showing up to our crib. Did she leave? All right, so I need to lock this door. These back doors, even though they're open doors, they need to be locked. Yeah, I'm thinking people coming out through this back door, because this is not that, and that is not this. She has to pee really bad. Oh, my gosh. Girl, go use the bathroom. Reese's eating. 
all these people that be walking around our house it's just like and people be popping up y'all y'all see my concern about that like asia's twin just popped up at our crib just walked up stairs tamir is pissed she is pissed off let's try to boost our confidence look at her stank face she's so mad she like these moves got me messed up you know she pregnant pregnant she about to pop any day now um try to calm down um but she's in her third trimester her hands are clean she's you know really happy about the life within her teeth are brushed her mouth is clean uh, she has a good reputation she's feeling attractive but yeah she's really pissed off at Keon. he really pissed her the hell off oh so you mean to tell me you can't even look in the mirror all right she needs to eat i'm about to uh, see if we can um just invite i think i'm just gonna um go out with um tamara it's gonna be tamara her sister cameron her brother jamari and then maybe just um cameron's daughter janessa like go to ah y'all know my flicks bar and grill i think we're just gonna go to the drive-in and get food and stuff like that um it appears that Reese. hey why is his mouth all open like that what the hell um it's four o'clock let's get some water real quick let's make sure she stays hydrated after that i think we're just gonna head and go to the movies i'm gonna put her outfit on that i want her to wear there's spoiled dishes in her inventory um something cute i like this little blues outfit okay cute and comfortable you know she about to pop any day now so we just being comfortable we ain't trying to look you know what is this all her pictures okay well, let's put that in the sink and then we're going to go we're, i guess we're gonna, just gonna head to the bar and grill all right so we're not traveling with keon <laughs> He must still be in the vicinity because he pulled up as a person to travel with. For right now, we're just going to co-parent with him and do the best that we can. We have a very high romantic relationship with him. But every time she gets around him or every time he comes over, he gets to yelling at her and throwing his, you know, finger all in her face. Like, who are you? Nobody, exactly. Um, Like, what? Come on now. I'm going to go to her friendly relationship. So we're going to go with Janessa, Jamari... Cameron I think that's it it's just gonna be us four okay hey y'all we are here at Flix drive-in and grill with um our younger sister Cameron her daughter Janessa and then our little brother <laughs> Jamari oh them lips is chap why he got golds in his teeth wanna be hood looking anyways I started to invite our uncle, but then we I would have felt bad. I would have been like, let's go ahead and invite his baby mama. Then I would have felt even worse. I was like, go ahead and invite their kids. So that's just too many people. We're just going to do us for her siblings and her niece. Just leave it at that. He barely has any outfits in here. Like, I feel like I... There he goes. He got some little little moisturizer on him. Lips. Um, camera looks cute. And Janessa, she looks cute in her little orange outfit. I guess y'all decided y'all wanted to match. But um, this is the drive-in and grill that I built and collab with Bill L. Sims. He created the sign. The lot is by me. And then this little sign. They could basically watch movies here and sit out. But the whole point we came here is to get food. And we may watch a movie. Who knows? They also have, like, screens in here for you to watch movies. But, yeah, this is the build. Um, you know, come in here, get snacks. Or you can come... Why is Seven here? Ooh, Tamara cannot stand her. Only because they both was mess. Well, Tamara never was messing around with King. They were cool, and Seven thought it was more than that. Um, but the, I was just showing y'all the build, and we can come in and get um, get a table. But um, I want a specific table. Instead of, like, going to the counter and having them seat us somewhere, we have, like, well, we could have literally, literally invited six people. Like, one, two, three. There's four of us. Maybe we can invite, um, well, look at Tamara's face. This is a perfect thumbnail. I'm about to get this thumbnail. Why is she sweaty? Oh, wow. 
I gotta get this thumbnail, y'all. Okay. I was about to say, let's invite Jamari and his baby mama. But I think we're just gonna keep it as four. I don't got time to wait on them. So let's try to request this table. And this is sort of where, like, in real life, they would, like, come through, order tickets, and then find a spot to park and watch the drive-in movie. But, um, yeah. Who is this? Where is Janessa? What the heck? So she's walking in and getting um, a table. There's plenty of tables. There's, like, oh, we could have sat at this four-seater. And I decided to sit at a booth with six chairs. Um, but what is he doing? And there's like a little little mini bathroom right here. There's just a bunch of booths that can sit six people. So there's one, two, three, four booths that can sit six people. Cameron is on the little arcade game. Oh, nothing beats free. Nothing beats the feeling of crushing that final boss level. Whenever Cameron is gaming, she is as one with the universe. Is it safe to say she likes video gaming? Sure, whatever. Um, so are we gonna sit down or what? She just not getting up there. The crystal's here. With her cookie shirt on. Okay. Crystal's always out. Like, sis is never not out. Let's say hi to her. I guess. What they back there burning? Funny. Inside joke or something. Back there burning food. The Festival of Lights has started. Come celebrate the stars and wish for a bright future. Dang, we ought to eat. Why he guys? Why did they change outfits? That, that literally irritates me. Janessa then changed her outfit. Cameron changed... Oh, what are they talking about death for? Now why is Destiny going back there? I hope nobody is dying, child. We ain't got time for that. Come on. Why is she all the way over here? Is somebody dying? Ugh. We came here to get food, y'all. And they over here doing everything but that. Okay, let's teleport to Mira here. Come on, shoot. Okay. A break, Lenten. Cameron is sitting down. We just want a freaking order. All right, so they got milkshakes, they got beer, lemonade, and slushies. So I think I'm going to just get strawberry milkshake, Janessa, um, pineapple strawberry slushy, Tamara, strawberry cheesecake slushy, Cameron, and I think I'm going to get Oreo for Jamari. This is a perfect time for her to hang out with her siblings. Um, they got barbecue wings, uh, cheese fries, hot wings, mozzarella sticks, onion rings, popcorn shrimp, and potato wedges. And the main meals, the pizza, cheeseburgers, ch fried chicken, chicken tenders, barbecue chicken sliders, black bean tacos, jerk chicken, a bunch of stuff. They got some bomb food. Okay, I think I'm gonna get pepperoni pizza for Janessa. You know, she's a kid. So she got strawberry milkshake and cheese pizza. I mean, pepperoni pizza. Tamara, although we're trying to watch our figure... We out to eat. Forget all that. And she be hungry, hungry. I think I'm gonna get her the southern fried chicken with the fries. Uh, Jamari, I think I'm gonna get him um, the double cheeseburger. And Cameron can get the um, buffalo chicken pizza. Cool. The total bill is two sixty five, which isn't really that bad. So. Yeah, reordered. Now she can talk to Cameron since Cameron's chilling there. Friendly. Ask about her children. I always ask about her children. Why is Jamari? Why is she floating in the air? 
You know, so if you don't bring your butt, girl. There's the church. So she's just chatting it up with her sisters at Flix Drive-In. She looks so good. Okay. Face. Face card. I really, you, here you come. Why are you always looking drunk and dumb? Like, you sat on the whole other side of the booth. Janessa, girl, what are you doing? All right, I wanted to see what she said. Because she always just says, I have children. I am a parent. Of course she said that. Girl, little girl, what are you doing? I'm about to add her to the group, to the family, because she's acting like she's brand new. Like, you're part of our group. What are you doing? <gasps> Janessa, can I sit at the table? That is not hers. Why is she a part of our group? Oh, my gosh. Can she or uh request a table as a child? I wondered that. Oh, this, this is Jamari's uh baby uh wife. Oh, she can request a table as a child. Wow, I might have her sit over here. That's messed up. How they? I thought she was included in our group. That's so stupid. Ugh. Why don't the child, some of the toddlers, some never able to sit with us? It never works for me. And why is there a random ham and cheese sandwich sitting here? <laughs> like what? Tamira's. Hey, I heard you became friends with Keon Shelton. He's pretty cool. F Keon. That's just our baby. That's just our child's father. Ooh. Cameron says she said F the food. She said I ain't waiting on that food. Cameron then got her a cheeseburger out the vending machine. Black five burger. Okay, sis. You couldn't wait on the food? Where did she even put it? Well, I don't know. Let's just forget or uh request on the table and just have uh Janessa eat the cheeseburger. Oh, here's a little girl. Billy Jang. Why is that her name? That is definitely not her name. <laughs> like what? Why she keep thinking about death? What is wrong with you? And they're laughing. Girl, she ain't funny. Oh, Tamara got a pee. Okay, I'm a cheater. Butter up and her hunger level up a little bit. Sis is going through it. Who back here cooking? Sydney McLean. Sydney McLane, she's part of Zeta Phi Beta. If you watch the quad, you would probably recognize her or know who she is. Okay. What is going on with my game that is changing people's names? Because this is not Baiko Jong or whatever, however way it's pronounced. Who's coming to take our order, child? Wait to place order with wait staff. Yeah. Is this what we waiting on? Boy, if you don't come on. Y'all about to get irritated. We wait on this order and he over here posing and playing guitar. Resets and take our damn order. Cause what? Huh? <laughs> Jamari, if you don't sit down. Got your daggone outfit from Janessa's fifth birthday party on. Did Janessa eat? I hate that she has nowhere to sit because what is he doing? Are we ever going to get our order taken? It's nine o'clock. They are very unorganized here. Then what the hell does she have on? Oh my gosh. The Tonys have arrived. What is her name? Megan Romeo. Oh, they got little pretzel stick stations or some pretzel sticks sitting out she's feeling confident are we gonna get our order taken or not see this is the type of stuff i'm talking about Ooh. Ah. okay we're gonna have to try to reorder so i wait so she was a part of the group because I remember ordering food for her. So what happened with Janessa being able to sit with us? I, I'm c confused, but I'm going to just order for them three and call it, just give up <laughs> after that. I think I got um, Tamara pineapple, strawberry slushy, um, strawberry cheesecake for uh, Cameron, and Oreo for Jamari. And then I think I got Jamari the double cheeseburger. 
Look like Cameron already didn't ate a cheeseburger out the vending machine. I um, meant uh, Jamari cheeseburger, Cameron buffalo chicken pizza, and Tamara was going to get the southern fried chicken and fries with the sauce. And that's it. <laughs> now I'll come and take our dad on order because is he the only waiter? I'm going to be so pissed off if he's the only waiter over here playing around. I'm changing Janessa's outfit. She looks cute with this one. What is this? So she's. I added Janessa to the group just so I can tr control her. Or added her to the family. Hilarious show. This comedy channel is hilarious. Feeling happy. Flavor in hands. A scrumptious compilation of some of the most incredible ingredients ever manifested into a meal. We, represent, we present you the Black Five Burger. We are still waiting on somebody to come and take our order. That is literally ridiculous. Y'all get two stars so far. At least it's aesthetically pleasing in here, but like, y'all got one person seating people. Erin. Y'all got one cook, Sydney. Y'all got one waiter, Jamar, and he's over here playing around. I'm getting so pissed off, y'all. Like, we could have went to McDonald's if y'all, we was gonna wait five hours for somebody to take our order. Just bring out some cake. Bring out, uh, bring out some um, white cake or something. Is it because this is in a way? Oh my gosh, y'all! I'm about to try to. I'm about to just give up table. Oh, can we just sit here? Let's make sure everybody's in a group. So let's, um, actions, disband group, and then actions, form group with Jamari, Cameron, and Tamara. Tamara's getting really tired and she's getting hungry as hell. Um, I'm gonna have Tamara eat these little chocolate pretzels right here. And then we're going to try to request this table right here four people that's all we need is four people i don't know if he couldn't get to us because of this high chair or something but let's try again if we can't get a table then we're just about to eat at home because hello <laughs> this is too much oh it's, it's tamara going to the back for me request this table Oh my gosh, man. She over here watching this TV. I turned the TV on because I thought they was about to sit here. I'm trying to request a different table. This little family is cute. What is going on, though? Alright. We're about to request the table now. Let's see if it works. Sick of waiting on folks for real it's 11 o'clock it's almost the night the whole next day it's almost saturday so. yeah go ahead and just give us a table because y'all waiter is tripping look and then another waiter decided to come late as hell y'all see the girl with the blonde ponytail she a waiter over here coming late Sick of it. Sick of them. Sick of the Sims never doing right. Let's sit together so we can go ahead and order for table. Let's try it again. Alright, I'm going to try it again. Strawberry milkshake. Um, strawberry cheesecake. Um, Oreo. Pineapple, strawberry, slushy. Food. I think I'm going to just do... I think I did pepperoni pizza for Janessa. Pepperoni pizza. Buffalo chicken. Double cheeseburger. For Jamari. And then I'm going to change it up. I think I'm going to just get Tamara... 
a big chicken sandwich. And it cost about the same. I'm just wanting somebody to take our order so we can freaking. Oh, here's another waiter. Coming late. Paisley and Brianna. Where was y'all when we were sitting at the booths waiting on Jamari to get done playing with the guitar? Oh, uh uh. Bye. What is going on now? Okay. Oh, so Paisley took our order. Thank goodness. I'm thinking maybe the high chair was in the way for them to come over to the tables. Paisley took our order. She said our order would be right here. I'm going to buy some cotton candy. Samara's so bladder is getting low. Whose order is that? Little girl over here joking. I wish these were functional. We can come go over here and get drinks. I was gonna say I know that in our food and we just ordered. I'm wanna be nosy and see what whoever this is got. Can't see it, it didn't appear yet. Why can we never sit down? Girl, if you don't sit down, tell me about to irritate me. Cameron and Janessa are sitting. Jamari never acts right. What is that little girl doing? The center of attention. I've Here's your table. Enjoy. Oh, child, what? Oh, she's a jokester. Girl, if you don't sit your ass down. I'm sorry. I don't really cuss like that, y'all. But, like, the little girl was doing too much for me. Let's talk to your family because that was the whole point of us coming. This would be a really cute thumbnail. I, Paisley got our food. Looks like our food over there. I just wanted to get a cute thumbnail. Yeah, I'll be just trying to go out to eat and enjoy my family and have fun. And here we go. People joking around. Can't sit. Waiter can't come to us. Just waiters coming late as hell. Why waiters coming at 1 a.m.? They, they probably rolled in about midnight. But, like, why aren't y'all here? Why is it just Jamari? Y'all working the late night shift. Y'all should have been here. I was about to talk to Cameron. Um, um, ask about her day. Look at the little Janessa over here playing with her little legs. She's so cute. Jamari, we don't sit you. Oh, that ain't even our food, man. Girl, do y'all realize it's 2 in the morning and we got here at 6? Ooh, they got big food over here. A big bucket of chicken. Look up. The little girl couldn't wait to eat. What they got? They got to look like some Hawaiian pizza, a pineapple smoothie, a bucket of chicken, and waters. Look, <laughs> they got two waters. Little girl got like some chicken nuggets and fries. But anyways, we waiting on our food. That's ridiculous that it's almost two in the morning and we still ain't got our food. <sighs> Man, they only got one cook. They should have two cooks. It look like they got two cooks now. Who back here cooking here? Look like a female to me. Because I know Sydney's over here cooking songs. So must be another girl right here. Oh, you can get some popcorn. Right? This might be our food. Nah, because Paisley took our order. Usually the person taking your order brings your food. I want to be nosy. We're never coming here again because it took to y'all too long to come and get our order and too long to bring the food. They got a veggie burger, Canadian bacon pizza, and oh, poor quality. Oh, Tierra Graham is back there cooking. How you mess up some cheese fries? They gonna be pissed. And he got a water and somebody got a beer and some pizza and a burger and a raspberry lemonade. Tamira is, ooh, craving healthy food. Sis, we are at Flicks. Bar and grill at a freaking movie theater driving and you want healthy food. Um, She's really hungry. Her back is killing her. She has to use the bathroom. Child, didn't I have you click on the toilet and use the bathroom? Oh my gosh, is she stuck? I'm about to just cheat up her bladder level. She's getting on my nerves. Okay, let's just grab a snack. Is this our food, Paisley? Because, girl... We need some some something off our bill. Oh. Uh, oh. Uh, 
You cannot be freaking serious. What the heck? She just dropped our food, y'all. I'm just lost for words. Why couldn't we just get Brianna serving our food? She over here. Look at. They all pissed. We've been here for five hours. It ain't funny, camera. I'm pissed. About to grab, purchase hot food and drinks here. You gonna bring our damn food and we gonna take it to go. When they drop our food, we should get it discounted. Is she stuck? What the hell? Oh my gosh. J Jamari said, I ain't messing with that girl. I'm getting me some food out this vending machine. I don't blame you, because what the hell? We done waited five hours to get sat, get our order taken, just for you to drop the food on the damn floor. Pissed. Talk about pissed. Cameron, what the hell is Cameron doing? Why couldn't we get Brianna as our server? Paisley over here messing up. Jamari didn't... Okay, she's not gonna get her. She want a healthy food. Let's get us. Let's buy some fruit. Let's get a salad. Get you a little salad since you're craving healthy food. And should we be expecting our food? Because what the hell? Y'all, I'm pissed. Ridiculous ridiculous they got their food and they left that could have been us it's three in the morning y'all that's why i don't do dine out why people keep thinking about death what is, the heck is going on what is she doing order for table wait for order to be delivered what is she ordering for table for they over here getting lit with these little beers ain't they uh, not him coming back here. Y'all are not all out back here. Who died? Maybe Janessa can get. Grab a server. Somebody. We about to just give up our table at this point. Uh, she laughed at him. Let's deliver an insult to the chef. It ain't the chef's fault. Because she messed up. Don't come over here asking if we good because we're not, Brianna. We're not. We're not, girl. We aren't. You may ask why we're still here. Because I want our food. Shoot. Well, back here burning stuff. Let's just run down the list. Took forever for somebody to come to us. We had to switch from a booth to a table. Then when we finally got a waiter, we ordered... Then had to wait mad long to get our food. Once we finally were about to get our food, the waiter dropped our food. And it's four in the morning and we got here every bit of six, seven. Ridiculous. Hate it. Oh. oh my gosh. She got her little popcorn. She's so cute. Why camera looking like that? Come here, I get you some popcorn. When are we expecting our food? Why she keep being stuck right there? I guess we're not getting our food. We might as well give up our table. Zopi. The boat. I was about to have Janessa delivering. Ugh, not him stanking on the job. We need to go home and take a shower. It's five in the morning. Uh, I was about to have Janessa deliver an insult to Paisley for dropping our food and then not even coming over to check on us after the fact that you dropped our food in front of us. Back here waiting on the food. If you would have just gave us our food, we wouldn't have to be waiting on another order. She back here getting irritated with Sydney. Like, you dropped the food, I would be pissed at you too. But Tamara's feeling feeling excited now. She's not as upset. We gonna eat these pretzel sticks. Badish. 
Maybe she could talk to her mom. Are they just sitting there? Oh my god. Janessa will sometimes get better moodless from watching Sim TV at a computer. Talk to her brother. I'm not her brother. Talk to her uncle. I just said brother. That's how his family is. So you mean to tell me we are still waiting on this food? Every time she tries to get them pretzel sticks. All right. We need to deliver an insult because at this point, this is re damn ridiculous. In real life, who the hell coming at six and, and, and still here at five in the morning and still ain't got the, the food? Usually it's in restaurant. Oh, here it is. Let's just give up our table. I'm going to have Tamara say, don't worry about it. Just F the food. Where's Tamara at? Uh, we gave up our table. That's literally ridiculous how we didn't get our food, but everybody else did. At least we have fun. They got them some little food from this uh, vending machine. Tamara's happy. Um, she's being exposed near a 6 m But um, honestly, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Um, hopefully the next episode of Tamara Diaries will be her baby shower and just seeing how she, you know, progresses in life as far as nursing school and getting her degree. So I hope you enjoyed this. Don't forget to hit the like button. Subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you in my next video. Yeah, I play Animal Crossing, GameCube 3DS. I ain't never been poor. Used to play Sims 4. Put a little wall around.